Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game by Now. My name is Dave and today I'm doing something super exciting. There are very few board games that I love more than Everdale. Now, this is a Kickstarter preview for Everdale and its last two, which is bittersweet, expansions in addition to the collector's box, which you can put everything into this collector's box that you already have, in addition to the two expansions that are coming up. Now, everything that you're gonna have an opportunity to get is a new leaf that is the first expansion we're going to be talking about and miss wood in addition to that collector's box now the kickstarter starts march 9th so if it's happening right now you should definitely look in the description for the kickstarter link but i'm just going to go ahead and jump into the brief information that i have because i only have a snippet but it's good stuff more everdell is better everdell Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off by showing you a mock-up of what the collector's box is going to look like and the size. This is a poster, but from what I understand, it's a one-for-one -one, uh, replica. And if you want to get the whole collection, there are gonna be two different boxes, I believe, on the Kickstarter. One that's just gonna have the collection box so you can put everything that you've gotten already from Everdell and the complete collection box that's stuffed full with every one of these expansions in addition to the new ones coming out and this right here is just one of my favorite styles of art and this is done by Andrew I don't know if Dan had a, a hand in this but the Everdell art is just captured so perfectly here and man what I wouldn't give to get a personal like picture drawn up by somebody that can draw like this I just envy people who can draw because I can't but that is what the collection box is going to be it's going to have dividers and also places to put every bit of your expansions in the box all in one place and I've been waiting for this for quite a while so that is what the collection box has in store again this is from what I understand, some of this may change, but let's move over to the newest expansion, which is New Leaf. Let's go. Okay, so the biggest news is that cats are going to be in Everdale, and man, it's been a long time coming, baby, but they're here, and cats are my favorite. I love them, I have a whole bunch of them, and of course, one is my mascot of the channel, Miko, and this excites me just within itself, but New Leaf is going to be adding a train station and other critters are going to be traveling in and out it's going to offer a whole new um, farm car display a whole new mechanism when it comes to uh, i think how the um, people are sitting on the train or where they're going i'm not sure exactly on that uh, the box size is a, is about as big maybe a little bit bigger than the other expansions that have came out again the art is just killing it good job andrew on that and again trains are cool Cats are cooler, and having more Everdell is the coolest. So, let's move over to the next expansion, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. Okay, so Miss Wood, this is what I'm super excited about. Now, this is the only box one for one that's not as big. From what I read, this is about the same size as the collection box for Miss Wood. So if you're going to be getting that, you're going to get a decent sized box. But look at this art. This is some of the best. And I get to hang this on my wall. Super excited. But Miss Wood has a villainous character coming in here that's trying to, well, of course, wreak havoc. Look at all those web spiders come into play. Um, I think what else? We're going to actually go into some cards that I got so we can see more um, detail. But what Mistwood brings is a villainous character and the fact that you can have a Nightweaver who can be an automatic player to play alongside you as a solo player, two players, or three players. And I don't know how that's going to work, but from James does a great job with Everdell's design. The solo play was awesome. I'm pretty sure adding a NPC character playing alongside you is going to work just fine. But that excites me the most. Look at the Mighty Mouse character up here. It also brings back some of the um, older storylines from Corrin, uh, the, the actual um, discoverer and the founder of Everdell itself, uh, that critter. So it's really interesting. Again, this is all the basic knowledge I have. Don't have everything yet, but I am super excited. So now that I've shown you the art and given you a breakdown of each one of the expansions, 
now let me go over some of the cards that I was given uh, so we can get a little more of what these expansions are going to bring to the table. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the most important things. What critters are joining our group? Snails. Snails are really cool. I think the, the meeple is going to look satisfactory. Bats, yeah, that's a good one. I like that. And I'm not gonna be going over all the powers and all the uh, details, but if you want, you can always pause the video. But the main ones coming to the party are the cats, baby. Uh, honeybees are gonna look pretty cool too, I bet. I wouldn't think of honeybees being something uh, to come into the game. That's a good choice. Pigs, uh, they're, they're, this, the size of a pig compared to all the other critters, that's kind of funny. I don't know what a stroat, it's, stroat is, but it looks like a weasel of sort. Oh, butterflies are going to be magical. I'm really happy there are going to be some butter butterfly miniatures. And there are the spiders. Ugh, I could have done without the spiders. I like and love all critters, except for spiders. I just can't do it. They creep me out. All right, so uh, we get some other cards here. Uh, let's we'll go over a few of these here. Uh, so gain one point token for each basic event you have achieved and two for each special event including this one. So uh, you get the City Jubilee um, dance contest. Ooh, ooh, get that dance on. Uh, this here, Everwall Tower Construct. That's pretty interesting. Some more flair. Um, Grow Light Festival. Where are they growing? Uh, must discard one card for each of the green icons in the city. Gain one point token for each discarded. Okay, so that is interesting here. Royal Tea Hot Air Balloon Race. There's some more of that co coming soon. Magic Show. I love the... Um, the font that they chose for that. It's, sometimes it is kind of hard to, to read though, I will say that. Uh, and the big city. Okay, so we've got some new stuff there. We also got some more locations that you'll be putting down as well. But let's go over the big cards. That's what you're here for, right? All right, so let's see what we got. Now again, these this is a mixture of, um, I guess, Miss Wood and New Leaf. I don't know exactly how they're gonna be broke up, but you'll at least get a taste for what's soon to come. So the art, I just love the art. I can sit here and just look at these cards all day. Okay, so we got the click clacks. <laughs> Gain three berries plus um, any resource you want for each farm in your city. So that's really nice. And we got the deep dark prison. That looks spooky, I like that one. Ever flame tomb. Oh, that looks cool. Play a card from your hand, the meadow, or the station. So again, the station is going to be something that's coming in for the new leaf and it's going to be cards that specifically uh, coincide with that. Uh, for each common construct in your city, you get that, those points. Like the kitty cat, activate two different green icons in your city. Ooh, he looks like uh, the bird in um, Robin Hood. Oh no, I, I, don't, I don't know what the bird looks like and that is actually a rooster. Okay, anyway, I digress. Gain one gold for each card in your hand up to eight. Ooh. Pricey, pricey. Oh, look how sweet that is. The fox. That is so awesome. Speaking of Robin Hood, I love that cartoon when I grew up. Gain some resources. Uh, you played for a critter. Draw two cards after you play a construct. Ah, Corrin himself. Ugh, you get a lot of him. The story's going to be opening up for Corrin the king. And uh, I, I love the lore and the theme that they have. I've read everything that they've had in their books, and I just want more, actually. I wish there was a book coming out. I could spend dozens and dozens of hours in Everdell. And uh, ooh, that is super creepy. If I was a mouse and that snake was there, I, I, can, I can mess with snakes. I don't mind snakes, even though I've been bit by a few. Spiders, I just can't do. I don't like them. Uh, let's see, gain just different various items here. Oh yeah, these are the farms that are going to be replacing uh, the farm cards, and these are special farms that are, I think are a little more powerful, uh, but they're all different art and I just, uh, Look at the, the mice just frolicking and playing around. Okay, this is the station, the locomotive. Play a station card uh, for three less resources. Oh, there's the snail mare. I love it. The bank, the museum, library. Oh, tea house. It is at the... Oh, man. That's so clever. Uh, now, I haven't really played with any of these cards. I don't want to mix them with my set. I kind of want to wait to play with these and experience them everything together, but I have gone through them and read them a few times. Speaking of um, the balloon races before, here is more air balloon. What does it say here? Copy any card in your opponent's city, act, activate its base on your city. It's pretty cool. Uh, Ever wall, town hall, freight 
card, Greenhouse. This is a really cool card. I like how the edges of the pictures are just, they go th throughout the whole card and uh, just makes it look very, very nice. There's that stoot or stoat, what are they called? Oh, the butterflies, armadillo. Ugh. I think they might be coming into the game too. If so, I'm super excited about that. Are they already in the game? I can't remember. There's so many critters. Prey mantis, Ugh. nope, spiders. Okay, the piggy. And there we got the musician. You may discard one critter or construct from your city to gain some resources of what you like. So that's what's going to be happening. I do also have these leaf um, tokens. You can cut them out. These go with the new leaf um, expansion, I think. And you're going to be using these for some kind of currency. I think everybody gets a certain amount. Again, I haven't actually played with these. I want to wait and sink my teeth into a final product. But uh, that is everything that I got and to show off to you Vine Nations. So if you want to support this Kickstarter, it's starting on March 9th, 2021. And if it started right now, there will be a link down below in the description so you can send yourself right over there and back this. And if I had to give any recommendation on what you should get, you should get it all. If you don't have any Everdell, you can get the collection box that has all of it in it. And if you just are going to get the um, two expansions. You can get the collector's box because that's going to be awesome to keep everything in one spot. And um, so that's that. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much Starling Games for sending us this review snippet of information. I really do appreciate it. More Everdell is always what I want. Until the next time that I see you, have a great rest of your day and a great time with all your play. My name is Dave. You heard it here in Game Vine. I'm out, bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 15,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.